Hey, what's up everybody? How is everyone doing out there today? Welcome back to Wildcat MTG. And uh, today we're going to crack open a Commander Legends draft box. Uh, Commander Legends, like I think we kind of all knew that this set would age well, um, but it has. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's one of those sets that I've actually enjoyed revisiting. Like when it first came out, I wasn't really playing a lot of Commander. So I, I, I didn't, I was like, eh, yeah, maybe I'll open up a box or two just to get a feel for the product. And that was kind of it. And now, actually, as I've built more Commander decks and started playing Commander a little bit more, um, there's no denying that the the value within the set is there. Um, there's plenty of good hits in there, uh, both in the you know rare and uh, mythic aspect of it. Of, of course, lots of playable commons and uncommons. So, uh, anyways, why don't we go ahead and jump on in and uh, let's crack some packs. So, as of the filming of this video, box is currently sitting at about 145. I don't think that's the peak for them, but it's probably like mirroring i think they've been as high as 150 maybe even crested 160 at one point but it's also like they've also been as low as like 110 and uh i go back to that and i'm like eh, i should have bought more boxes when they were 110 but here we are so we know that the big the big draw is is still jeweled lotus which even after the commander masters reprint is still over a hundred dollars now back up to over 100 you do have mana drain mana drain at about 45 you have vamp tutor um, Commander's Plate was up over 40 and now has kind of come back down, but it's still like a $30, $35, it's still like a $35 card. Plenty of good rares in here too. So anyways, hopefully we see some of those today. Let us jump on in. These packs are so full. It's fun, uh, I bet it's a fun draft experience. I never, I don't, I didn't actually get to do any drafting with this, but I bet it's fun. Daring Saboteur, Monstrous Onslaught. Slaughter the Strong. First, hey, nice. You know what? Not bad. Crowdlands are still a good place to be. I'm going to say the Undergrowth Stadium is probably in like the 6 to $7 range. So if we pull two or three, uh, two of these per box, that is, uh, again, not a bad place to be. All right. Jorga, Miara, and the Bowmaster. Not that Bowmaster. The uh, Least Bowmaster. <laughs> least Alana Bowmaster. Hey, but not a bad first pack. Plenty of good rares in here. Uh, I think Opposition Agent is kind of leading the way. I think that's like a $25 card. Um, we also have two of the Wills, Chroma's Will and Jessica's Will. I think Chroma's Will is sitting at about 18 19 and I think Jessica's Will, despite just being put in Commander decks, is already back up to like 16 17 So there is plenty of value. There's a couple of good um, uncommons as well. Uh, three Visits, definitely the most valuable. Oops. Furnace Celebration, Guildless Commons. The rare is Flamekin Herald. Yuri. Hans Ericsson as a commander rare. Valakut Invoker as the Uncon or as the uh, foil and Monarch Token and Prismatic Piper. I guess Piper just goes in the commons. Oops. Commons I said. All right. Keep going here. Last couple packs, just there we go. Find the scene. Sissé's ring. Have ourselves a null collar. Victimize, strong, uncommon. Lore seeker stone. Rare is a laboratory drudge. And a Tormod the Desecrator. Skywarden. And, oh, hey, neat. Uh, our etched foil for the box is usually about one per box. Sometimes you get a second. Is the solemn, uh, lower, lo, nope, butchered that, solemn ritualist. I can't talk today. I haven't had enough coffee. So definitely what I should be doing is on camera trying to pronounce different card names. Desire to open a box was strong. All right, next one. Little Terramorphic Expanse, Siren Storm Tamer, decent uncommon. Open the Armory, Scaled Behemoth, Rare is a Keeper of the Accord. Actually, Keeper of the Accord is a decent little rare. I don't think it's over like our, our three dollar mark, um, but I do. Th I find it to be a, a at least a playable card, so I'll put it up top as a rare I like. And then Brinolin, the Shadow Cat Familiar, and a Perilous Mirror as the foil. So far, these foils look sharp. Uh, Commander Legends, specifically the Commander or the Collector boxes, 
had a horrible reputation for foiling. A lot of like cloudiness. There is still a curling problem, whether it is uh, the draft boxes or the collector boxes. But the collector boxes, especially for you know a premium product, was particularly egregious. Just cards, just like straight up Pringles, like to the fullest. Confiscate, Kumbaya witches. Hey, first mythic, nice, is Apex Devastator. That's not a bad one. Uh, Devastator is up there. I think Devastator is probably like a $20, $20 card, something like that. So that is, uh, that is a very solid hit for us. Not bad, not bad at all. And of course, quadruple cascade on a 10-10 body is, uh, that's worthwhile. All right, Emoti. Obeka, hey, Obeka's a strong rare. That's a, that's a good playable rare. We like that. It's not, it's not value, but, uh. It is nice. And I know that, that these these products can be, uh, the draft boxes can be very track printing oriented, but I don't, I couldn't tell you what Apex Devastator means for the rest of the box or what it's likely to mean. It might mean that we're not gonna be eligible for the Mana Drain, Vamp Tutor, or uh, Commander's, or uh, Lo Jewel Lotus, but we'll see. I guess it command, uh, include Commander's Plate in there as well. Dreamstone Hedron. Rare, nice. Second of the uh, lands uh, is the uh, Vault of Champions. I want to say Vault is probably in like the $8 to $9 range. I think it could be a little, it might be off by a dollar or two, but I think that's probably correct. That is, again, Crowdlands are good. Uh, Radiant, Sarah Archangel, Captain Vargas Wrath, and a Commander Sphere. You know what I would like to open? I would like to open an Opposition Agent. I have opened up enough of this product and yet I don't know <laughs> I've opened more, up more jewel lotuses than I have opposition agents because I think I've opened a, maybe two uh jewel lotus hey Finn or else that's a good solid common I think I've opened maybe two jewel lotuses out of commander legends draft boxes and uh, I don't know that I've opened up a single opposition agent ever ordeal of Nylea volcanic torrent rare is a staff of domination nice uh did get a reprint in brothers or which brought the price down severely but this is still a good card and it might be right around that three dollar range i can't remember offhand but uh that is still a good strong rare so i'll put it up top Kelleth. Uh, another commander rare that is gore moldrak and then a rum, uh, rummaging goblin as the foil common at large, usually should get about 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 <laughs> uh, one foil rare per box, maybe sometimes a second. So that's still at large as well. Okay, into the end of the first column, hey, preordain a solid card, especially now that it's a uh, modern legal angelic armaments, volcanic dragon, demonic lore. Mythic is <laughs> a profane transfusion. That is uh, not one of the mythics you want to see. Neat card, super expensive and not value-wise in terms of mana value. All right, Rayav. Isior, Exquisite Huntmaster as the foil common. <clears throat> uh, usually probably good for about, on average, probably about four mythics per box. That is definitely not one of the upper tier mythics. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Skilled Animator, Brass Herald, Stinger Fling Spider, and another mythic is Triumphant Wrecking. Good gravy, just getting crushed on these. Yeah, this is uh, those are like two bottom tier mythics. Uh, I guess I'm in line for maybe the Seraphic Greatsword, which would be like the trifecta. So Triumphant Reckoning, unfortunately, pretty bad mythic for us. Hey, Archelos, uh, the Lagoon Mystic. I actually like the uh, Turtle Shaman. Not a valuable card, but I, I think that it's a good, neat rare. So I'll put that up there. And then Unus Trickster as a rare, as a next rare. Gildas Commons Foil. Okay. Yep. Now we're going to need some help from... Uh, now we're going to really need some help from uh, from the rares. They're getting just smushed on two Mythics. Okay, got Kangi's Lieutenant, Mindless Automaton, Pride of the Perfect, 
Rare is a Court of Bounty. Uh, not a lot of value from the courts, but actually now on the back of the uh, new Obeka, the Splitter of Seconds, there are two courts, the, the blue one and the black one. I can't remember which what the names are offhand that actually are carrying some value, but Court of Bounty, unfortunately, not one of them. Malcolm. Queen, the itinerant meddler, as a rare. And Ninth Bridge Patrol, Prismatic Piper, and a Monarch token okay i'm just gonna put this here it's fine so hopefully live for at least one more mythic uh i think foil mythics might still be case hits i know there are obviously there are collector boxes of of uh commander of legends but the the foil mythics were still pretty Pretty tough to come by, so they might that might be a case hit. Like you're not looking at one per every couple of boxes. So, there we go. And command tower, burning anger, mask of memory, patron of the valiant. Rare is a slash the ranks. And Nadir, agent of dusk, Thalys, sky diamond foil, and maybe one mythic per uh, one mythic out of the commander slot per box as well. If we get real lucky. That would be like a Sakashima. I think Sakashima is still in the neighborhood of like 20, 25 bucks. So that would be helpful. Here we go. Hey, Vester Seer. Far Haven Elf. Okay. We've got ourselves a Vow of Flight. Return to Dust. Rex Age. Rare is a Zat's Will. Not one of the uh, two more valuable one, <laughs> the two more valuable wills, but a will nonetheless. Halana, Tago, and a foil common kite sail skirmisher. All right, halfway through the box, uh, not exactly lighting it up. Gonna need some of those rares to come through. Feels unlikely that we're gonna hit a big mythic. being that we've already seen three of the mythics out of this box. Vow of Torment, Hero's Blade, Feast of Succession, Rare is Hull Preacher. I'm really good at pulling this card. If there's like a like a, a universe where half your boxes are pulling Pole Breacher and the other half of uh, is Opposition Agent, I'm on the uh, all the way Hull Breacher where I've pulled like six of these and like none oppos. And at one point, again, they would have been like, neck and neck right whole breacher super busted card unfortunately now that it's banned it just doesn't carry a whole lot of value it might be over the above the the three dollar mark but i'm not sure offhand but uh yeah that's how that goes that's how that goes for me all right bear claw okay kamal there's our commander mythic so it's another mythic it's kamal unfortunately also not a particularly valuable mythic foil rare is a laboratory drudge sheesh and there we go so there was our foil rare as well. There was our commander mythic. Not, not great. Not great. That's all right. These things happen. Here we go. Still a half box or yeah, a little under half a box left to uh, put something together here. Maybe we'll luck out and get one of the Acroma's will or the Jessica's will. Scholar of Ages. Arcane Signet. Always a good pull. Rare is a training center. It is our third of the Crowdland per box. The training center is probably in that, probably like again right around the eight dollar range, seven eight dollar range would be my guess. But I will do, I will take three Crowdlands. They do work. Alina, because we've seen Alana, Slurk, and an open the armory is a foil uncommon. Two packs left in this middle row. Might still be live for a mythic. an intangible virtue grafted war gear imperious perfect rare is a wheel of misfortune wheel of misfortune is uh probably like a four four and a half dollar card so that's not that's not a miss right especially in comparison to what we've been pulling so uh, wheel of misfortune that is a wall of text it's one of the more complicated cards actually it's not once you understand what it does it, it's fine but hey lysa 
Shroud of Dusk. I don't think this is above $3, but it is a really cool commander card, so I will put that up top. Uh, but uh, just that wall of text is so intimidating on Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Misfortune. Not Wheel of Fortune. That would be a heck of a pull. All right, last pack of the middle column here. I haven't seen a, uh, a three visits. We'd like to see one of those. Meteoric Mace. Revenant. Rare is an Amphin Mutineer. Prava. Armix. And a Foil Common Dragon Egg. And that will do it for the first half of this box. That no, first two-thirds of this box, excuse me. All right. There we go. All right, last column. Here we go. The three Crowdlands, they, they help, but... I need a little bit more than that. All right, have ourselves a Fencing Ace. Guild this Commons again. Sandstone Oracle. The <laughs> you know what? Fine, why not? Uh, let's go for our fourth Crowdland, which is Rejuvenating Springs. Uh, one of the lesser, I think, Rejuvenating Springs is, I'm going to guess, in like the 4 or $5 range. So not a heavy hitter, but hey, you know what? These all have uh, These all have utility to them, so... Not upset about that. Hamza, Nevinarol, or Larry Nevin's Urbor Tyrant, and then a Burning Anger as a foil uncommon. Honestly, if it wasn't for those Crowdlands, this, this box would be looking pretty glum. Four Crowdlands. Not bad. Not bad at all. Command Tower. Nice. All right. Oh. That in the wrong pile. There we go. All right. No collar. Lightning rig crew. Guilt we leaf winnower. Rare is a plague reaver. And it's techic. Brindlin. And an angelic gift as a foil common. Sarah Seer, Wild Size. Okay. Supreme Will. Strength of the Pack. Frenzied Saddle Brute. Mythic is Port Razor. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh boy. Yeah. All right. Well, Mythics were pretty, pretty uh, devastating <laughs> for us in this box and not Apex devastating. Just devastating. Uh, that's Port Razor. I think Port Razor is like, I don't know, 70 cents, a dollar, something like that. Wolf. All right, Shadow Cat Familiar, Solemn Ritualist, and our Foil Common there. Yikes. Orzov Advocist, Vow of Wildness, Thought Vessel, good, solid, uncommon. Rare as a War Room. Hey, you know what? I think War Room has some value to it. I, I, it's got to be a few bucks. I don't think it's a... I think Command Beacon's like $10, but War Room is otherwise at least a, a pretty good rare. So we'll put that up top. All right. I think I want to say War Room's like three or four bucks. Uh, Rami. We've got uh, Elegith, Crossroads, Augur, Augur. Maelstrom, Colossus. Looks like we have about four packs left. Findhorn Elves, nice. Murder, Path of Ancestry. Coastline Marauders, Nadir's Nightbleed. Hunter's Insight. Rare is a Horizon Stone. Breaches. Anara. And oh, hey, all right. You know what? This box, uh, it needed it. It, it. It's not like a, a incredible card, but a Chroma Vision of Ixidor in the Foil Etched, which actually does look pretty stunning. Like, it looks... It looks really good. The foiling on this, not bad at all. That is another mythic. We did get a mythic, which is is not common, right? Getting a foil etch. Usually, you're going to get about one card, one foil etch per box, uh, and that could be an uncommon, it could be a rare, or it can be a mythic. So I know the regular version of a chroma is, I think, up to six, seven dollars. Uh, I don't know that the foil etch is carrying a heavy, heavy premium, but 
still, that at least it at least helps at a box that was otherwise uh, starving for for value. Hey, three visits. You know what? Not bad. In a box like this, we will absolutely take ourselves a three visits. I'm even going to put it up top there. I think three visits is about five bucks. Meteor Golem, Root Weaver Druid, Captain Vargas Wrath, Blim as another Commander Rare, and then a Runaway Together as a Foil Common with the Piper and the Monarch. Two packs left. Pen and Blade, Sifter Worm, Shimmer Mirror. Rare is a Nightshade Harvester. I wanted so badly for that to be an opposition agent. <laughs> it's all the black. Uh, all right, the Flesh Sculptor, Lathiel. Hey, Lathiel's cool. That's a decent commander rare. Deranged Assistant and another Prismatic Piper. Last pack. Here we go. Vow of Lightning. Thirst for Knowledge. It's decent uncommon. Noxious Dragon. Rare is... Hey, there we go. Thank you. All right. Just as well. I mentioned it had just been reprinted in uh, some of the Commander decks. Uh, I think I saw it drop down to like $12. I think it's already up to like 16 An ever playable Commander Rare. So that is... Uh, that's strong. That <laughs> had to have it, really. So that's helpful. Uh, take that. Again, I think about 16 bucks. Huge, huge hit for us at this point. Emoti, Ghost of Ramirez Di Pietro, and a Foil Common Armillary Sphere. Uh, all right, so let's talk about this real, real quick. Uh, the Jessica's Will helped, but boy, we're probably still pretty far back on the scoreboard here. Getting crushed by the Mythics is what really hurt us. Like, just bad, uh, invaluable. I don't want to say bad, because it doesn't make them bad cards, right? But if we're talking about value... Profane Transfusion, Triumphant Reckoning, Kamal, and Port Razor are like a murderer's row of wolf. Apex Devastator is a good, good mythic, but it's not Jewel Lotus Mana Drain, Vampire Tutor, Commander's Plate, um, you know, that tier, right? So that that sort of is like, you're like, okay, it's like a top middle tier, like if that's a thing. Four of the Crowdlands really does help because if you're looking for playables, obviously, you know, they're just going in every commander deck that are in those colors. And then Jessica's Will is still one of the better rare hits in the set. We got some other little bit in here. Wheel is a misfortune. Uh, again, I feel like my whole breacher to opposition ratio, opposition agent ratio is really wonky. So, uh, you know, I, I think this is probably... Uh, not a super strong box, but it is still a fun product. There's plenty of playables in here. And so, anyways, that's going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button for me. Hit the like button for me. And by all means, drop me some comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much, everybody. And be well.